And now it's time for the latest exciting episode of Doz's Television Workshop. Hello, and welcome back to Dozzy's Television Workshop, where today uh, we're going to be talking about this little oddity I bought on eBay. It's of some vintage. This is a CV71. I'll hold it up to the top camera so you can see it. And it is called an Ozglim. Um, if you look around the cap here, you can just see there's a positive symbol there indicating that this terminal is to be positive. And around the base of the cap, it's actually got the words printed on it, not to be burnt without a series resistor. And it's a neon lamp, but it's, uh, although it's described as an indicator, it's also a voltage stabilizer. So back in the day before we just, you know, went onto Mouser or eBay and ordered ourselves a voltage regulator, these things had to be sort of made. And obviously with valve equipment, the voltages you wanted were quite high. So various voltage stabilizers were developed. And this is one of them. Some of them um, are filled with different kinds of gases and they glow different colors. This one is quite a simple neon. So um, we're going to test it out. And then I'm going to show you why I think the positive symbol on here is, is marked incorrectly. So I've got a little holder here and I've marked my positive connection and I've checked it by the way. It is the positive. I'm just going to insert the lamp into there. Now remember that warning from earlier around the base that said not to be burnt without a series resistance. So here is my series resistance. Um, it's about 18 kilo ohms. On this side connected to this meter, this is the output from our circuit. This side of the meter is connected, so this side of the resistor, sorry, is connected to this meter, which is measuring the input voltage to our circuit. And as you can see, uh, we've got about four and a half volts on there at the moment. It's connected to actually the capacitor reformer because I just needed a high voltage DC power supply and it happens to have one in there. So what should happen is the voltage should rise across our resistor until the neon lamp strikes and lights up at which point the voltage on its output should be around about 160 volts, according to the data sheet. So I'm just going to dim the lights for a second. And I'm going to zoom this camera in on our meters. And I'm going to turn up the voltage. So here we go, 10, 11, 12, 13, 57, 61, 65, nothing is happening yet. I have to go quite a way up. 90, 100 volts, 111, 140, 150. So there's our 160 volts where it should stabilize at. But as you can see, the lamp hasn't struck yet. There's no glow. So, oh, there we go. We have now struck, and as you can see, a neon gas plasma is occurring in there. I hope you can see that. And it gets more vivid as we go up in voltage. But as you can see, our voltage is now stabilized at 160 ish. 167. So we varied a lot on the input and a little on the output. It's sort of rated for about 230 on the input. So there we go. It's stabilizing and it remains stable now it's struck below the original striking voltage until eventually it extinguishes. It may take a little time to occur because, yeah. So there we go, we've got a very crude method of stabilizing the voltage before somebody invented the Zener diode or a band gap voltage reference. Now, according to the data sheet, that glow should be enclosed by the ring when operated in the correct polarity. And clearly, that sort of wasn't. So I'm just going to remove the lamp, turn it round, and then connect it back up. 
Let's run it again. And you'll see this time that the glow is indeed inside that ring electrode. There it is. So now we're stabilised. And I have to say the stabilisation with it connected in this mode is a lot better. I think you see that neon glow there. So yeah, the stabilisation now, we've got it connected correctly, is much better. But that positive marking on our um, lamp there is actually incorrect. Oh, I've let the smoke out of my power supply. <laughs> There we go. Anyway, it's an interesting little device and something I thought I'd share with you. That's going to take a little while to discharge the capacitor in there. There it goes. It's going out. Still a tiny little glow around the outside, but our voltage is falling down. That's gone now. Look, that's it. So there you go, the Neon Osglim Stabilizer. That's uh, quite a unique thing. And um, yeah, I'm pleased. It's an interesting thing to want to show you, really. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching. Click like, subscribe, do all that rubbish. And I'll see you soon here on Dossie's Television Workshop. Cheers now. Bye. Buzz has got a glimmer of hope With a neon lamp Put his power supply coat An interesting thing from days before voltage Stabilization is the game 160 volts is not too tame Tinkering Crafting dreams that never cease When sparks fly, inspiration's alive In God's world, hope will thrive Glimmering lights, the future in view Every wire and bolt promises anew Future if you are both promises and news.